We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Building the Afford a Plane. This week will not be a typical building tip. Let's review where we've been over these past few months. We started with raw material, lots of aluminum tubing of various sizes and shapes, and converted them with the aid of a good working surface, a nice workbench, into what we have now. But what happened one day is as we were building, one of our small furry friends abruptly awoke from a sleep. I say abruptly awoke from a sleep. Let's try this again. One day while working on our project, one of our furry friends abruptly awoke from their sleep and warned us about something we had no clue about. Stepping outside, it was very clear that conditions had changed. It's very cold, very nasty. Our furry friends had the sense to get out of there and seek warmer shelter. I knew it was about time that for proper construction of what we were building, we had to make a change also. Sometimes you just got to move along. But first, of course, we had to clear an access path. So taking us from our building time was a lot of snow clearing. Others took advantage of the situation and had some fun with it. Can't say I felt the same way, but just incredible amounts of effort to it even just get out of the place. I always look to more machinery to help out. But the bottom line is we need to take a pause because we cannot continue building in this in these conditions. It's as simple as that. So here we find ourselves in a warmer environment and no, our shop is not heated, and uh, the covering, fabric covering process does not do real well unless the temperatures are, are up there. So we're taking this short break. It shouldn't be more than just two months until the extreme cold goes away, but in the meantime, we got plenty of work that we're still working on, and will allow some of you to kind of catch up and get even with our progress. Now, let's talk about what we have left here. Uh, we have to rig the wings, which includes uh, building the struts and getting everything aligned so that the wings are attached properly. We have some more wire bracing to add in the tail feathers and between the fuselage and the wings. I have a list here. Of course, we have the covering to go, and thanks for the many excellent comments on uh, the type of covering you'd like to see and we'll, we will make some judgments about that and when we're ready to cover hopefully we'll have a wonderful presentation. Remember this aircraft was supposed to be easy to build for anyone without special tools so we're going to take all of that into consideration when we choose the covering method so that everybody can participate and get their plane completed. Now, another big thing we have to do is the engine selection, and along with that goes creating and fabricating an engine mount. As you probably can guess, when you purchase an engine or choose an engine, getting it attached to the airframe is a big deal, unless someone has already designed one and built one, so that's part of the process. Again, our purpose here is to show you how that can be done easily. Keeping in mind, especially when it comes to the engine area, I'll just throw in my two cents, 
as uh, some of you that have jumped into this series a little bit late in the game, it's important to get all of the earlier segments. At the very beginning, we made it perfectly clear that our goal here was to build a Part 103 legal aircraft. So although there's tons of wonderful engines out there and wonderful modifications for this, that, and the other thing, the overall objective in this series of videos is to build a legal, as legal as possible, meaning that we understand what the parameters are and we aim to meet or exceed them. And one of those is, of course, the weight of 254 pounds. So that had a lot to do with our engine selection, and we'll share that coming up. Oh, and I want to thank our Patreon members. Those people are so nice at supporting this channel. I'm going to release the engine selection and engine mount details on uh, Patreon first, so they have first look at what we're going to do about that, and then eventually we will move that information out to the normal uh, build videos. But everyone should keep in mind that there are very few people on this planet that can say and experience that they built a machine with their own hands, with parts that you buy out there in the world, put it together and actually go flying safely, legally, without a pilot's license, without all of the insurance and all the goofy stuff you have to do if you fly a regular airplane. Nothing wrong with regular airplanes, but this idea of building your own machine and going flying is so close to your fingertips. We're more than three quarters of the way through. I know you haven't seen anything that you can't do with the type of tools you have around the shop, and we're going to continue that way until we're finished. And you'll see with the engine and the engine mount how easy it is to get all of that set up and actually go flying. So don't give up. Keep going. Allow me these couple months to thaw out. And I'll be working behind the scenes to make sure we get over the hump when the weather gets better and finish up. So no delaying. And, of course, we'll see you soon, very soon actually. We may still have some tips thrown in from week to week, so don't, don't sell your computer or give up your interweb.